Welcome back to Cooking is Easy, guys. Today, I'm gonna show you how to cook a steak in a cast iron pan the right way. So let's start it up by seasoning with a little bit of kosher salt. Of course, always be liberal and cover the steak completely, right? You don't want an under seasoned steak. Next, let's crack some fresh ground pepper. I'm generous with my seasoning because I like a lot of flavor on my steak. And then lastly, take some garlic powder and sprinkle it on. This is the trio that I like to use. And of course, always season both sides of your steak. Now this is what you should be left with, a nice seasoned piece of meat. Now we're using cast iron today. Get that cast iron ripping hot. Preheat that thing for at least five minutes on medium to high heat. When it starts smoking, you know you're in the right place. Throw some olive oil in the pan. You can use canola, uh, grapeseed oil. I like to use olive oil. That's just what I have laying around. Take your steak and what we're gonna do here is sear the fat cap. So hold it for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds and really get a nice sear on that fat cap so you can render it down. This is what it should look like. Nice golden brown and then lay it down flat on the pan. Make sure you have good contact with the cast iron. You want it pressed down that way you're getting a nice even sear across the meat. If one side is up, you're gonna get an uneven sear and it's gonna cook unevenly. So you better make sure you press that baby down, spread the oil around and get a nice even sear across the entire steak. Fast forward a couple seconds. Uh, it was here for about two minutes on this side and then I flipped. So again, push down, nice even contact. Make sure the juices are spread around evenly. And you're gonna cook this steak total for about eight minutes. So it's probably gonna be about four minutes aside for a medium rare inside. And this is what you should get, a nice even sear. Uh, and next, what we're gonna do after a couple more minutes is take about a tablespoon of butter, throw it in, grab another tablespoon of butter. And now what you're gonna do is baste this steak. So use a towel, cast iron gets hot. I was using my shorts. Tilt the pan back and sprinkle that butter all over the steak. You'll notice it'll start turning nice and golden brown and this is the color we're looking for. If your steak is not brown, you're in trouble. That means you're steaming the steak. So right now we're at about 95 internal. We're looking for about 115 uh, to 120 degrees. Look at that, golden brown. Brown food is better food, guys. Boom, other side, beautiful sear. That is exactly what we are looking for. Throw in another two tablespoons of butter and baste again. That way you're gonna deepen the flavor, deepen the brown, and after eight minutes, you are ready to go. So go ahead, take the steak off, and now you gotta let it rest for 10 minutes, but do not throw away this golden butter. Now this is what your steak should look like. It's not burned, that's called golden brown sear. Now watch when I turn on this flash, you'll see no burnt, just golden Maillard reaction deliciousness, baby. That's what we're looking for. So now we're gonna make a quick little side dish while our steak rests for 10 minutes. Take a zucchini, chop it up into about half inch squares. And now that leftover butter and all that fond in the pan, we're gonna put that to work. So just throw it in. You don't even have to season the zucchini because there's seasonings in the pan. Throw it on, crank that heat up, and just move it around so it doesn't burn. Now the zucchini is gonna soak up all that flavor. It's gonna soak up the butter, the salt, the pepper, the garlic powder, and this is gonna be a great addition to your steak. So by the time your steak is done resting, your zucchini will be done in about five, six, seven, eight minutes. Now my favorite part, the slicing and the eating part. So after your steak is rested, juices are, are all settled in. Uh, what you're gonna do is slice the bad boy. This is a T-bone, so you'll slice the strip first, and then you will slice the filet after. You don't have to worry about cutting against the grain because this is already pre-cut against the grain. So all you're just gonna do is slice it into one inch pieces. Make sure you slice it not too thin, not too thick, bite-sized pieces. Look at that perfect, beautiful, medium rare on this strip. Now let's head over to the filet. Filet was cooked a little bit more, but don't worry, it's still uh, more tender than the strip, so you'll be fine. And look at that, still a lot of meat left off the bone. And if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna take a bite. God, it is so good. When you get a good crispy crust, 
you know you did this state correct. So if you guys want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe. I crank out these videos every single week. You're going to be in a good place. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.